there, I'm Chris Calloway from 92.9 NIN, and I know I have a face for radio. Why I'm on video, I have no idea why they want to do that, but it's for a good cause, so it's okay. We're here at the Texas Blood Institute with an instant win event. We'll talk about that a little bit later on. With me, Darren Coates. He's the executive director of the Texas Blood Institute here and also up in Oklahoma as well. That's correct. All right, so you come in here to get a bonus point, but if you want to give blood, what do you do? What do you have to do? It's a really simple process. We're going to ask you to come in and we're going to ask you to sign in. That's the first step. So once you sign in, what's the next step? All right, from there, you're going to come over to our health history area. Okay. And uh, I want to point something out on the way to the health history area. This is an open arms uh, campaign wall where we've got the, on the outside of our playroom where kids can go and play, we've got these cards. And right now, when you come in and you donate blood, you can get a t-shirt and you get tickets to the Oklahoma City Zoo. Woohoo! If you decide that you don't want the t-shirt, maybe you have a lot of t-shirts, maybe you don't want a t-shirt, maybe you're tired your wife sleeping in your shirt so you give that up and the money that we would have used for that goes towards the Susan G. Komen Foundation. Okay. Last year during this program we were able to give a little over ten thousand dollars to the Susan G. Komen Foundation. It's a unique opportunity because this is a place where you can actually give twice. You can donate blood and save a life and you can give to the Susan G. Komen Foundation at the same time. And that's incredible. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm looking on the wall and it looks like you've crossed over to a lot of different charities. Around and we really have. We want to reach out and help as many people as we can. So okay. that's something that's very unique in blood banking. I don't know of another blood bank in the entire United States that's helping other nonprofits. I was going to say, I, I've never heard that. Moved here from Alabama in February. We did a lot of stuff with their blood system there and mm -hmm. nothing like that. That's a heck of a deal. That's very really unique good. opportunity. Awesome. But as you as you pass that, you're going to come to our health history screening booth. And in this screening booth, uh, you're going to have an opportunity in private to answer questions. The idea is that we're going to check your blood pressure, we're going to check your iron, and we're going to ask you questions about your health history, what medications you're taking, where you've been, and the goal is to make sure you're as healthy when you leave as you were when you came in, okay. and to make sure that you're qualified to donate blood. When they ask me the questions, I always have to qualify some of it and say, but I was in college. You know, so I mean, that seems to make it okay. And that's why it's a private screening. Booth, yeah, so. exactly, exactly. That's well, always a good thing. We're going to make sure that your confidentiality stays where it belongs. <laughs> Once you've completed the health history from there, you're going to get to go over to All the right. donation area. And here is where the life saving is done. This is where they're going to decide based upon your blood type. They're going to have a discussion with you about what is best. And you have an opportunity to donate whole blood or you can donate double red cells, which is two donations of, of, red, of whole blood at one time or you can donate platelets where we actually put your blood through a centrifuge, they separate the platelets out, you get your red blood cells back. You can actually donate platelets every seven days. Is that, yeah, what is the difference between blood and plasma? Okay, um, plasma is a component that's in your blood. Okay. okay. Platelets are a component that's in your blood. And every one of them has a different use in a hospital setting. If you have a car wreck and you're bleeding out, they want to put red blood cells in you immediately because they want to make sure that you have enough oxygen-carrying blood to sustain your brain, your, your organs, and your tissues. But very important in surgeries, very important in, and especially in emergency situations. Platelets are the clotting factor in your blood. If you've had, been a cancer patient and you, you had the chemo, you might not be making enough platelets on your own and you need that. Or in an extreme trauma situation, that's the clotting factor, they're going to transfuse a platelet unit with some, with some whole blood in order to help you clot up a little bit to slow down your bleeding process. So every one of them has a different need. Plasma is most commonly used in burn units. If you have burn, then they can actually give you a transfusion and it's going to help your recovery. Every one of them has a different use and every one of them makes a difference in saving life. I was going to say, there's just a ton of stuff you can use the product that you take here yeah. for in many different life and situations. Absolutely. The majority of the people are going to donate whole blood and whole blood takes about seven to ten minutes. The needle is only in your arm seven to eight. And it doesn't hurt. It doesn't. No. And people always ask, does it hurt? Yeah. There is a small pinch when they stick the needle in, but for the duration of the time you're sitting there, you really don't feel anything. Well, yeah. And if you're watching it like this, then it's, it's not good, but uh, you know, just look away. They stick it in. It's real, it doesn't hurt at all. Try to take it from there. Absolutely. So once you finish here, you get to go to what's probably the best part. You all get right. to go to the canteen area, and in the canteen area, we want you to have some juice, a soda, some water. We want you to drink something to replenish your fluids. We're going to ask you to eat some cookies or something so that you can kind of get your system restarted. Um, you're going to come up into this area and relax. Uh, from here, as soon as you feel good about yourself, you can get up and go knowing you've saved lives and made a difference. It's a heck of a deal. You can stop by here, pick up a bonus code. Now, if you just stop by and want the code, it's going to get you one entry into the contest for the $1,000, but it's also going to get you 10,000 VIP bonus points. Not only that, though, if you give blood, you're going to get a bonus code worth 
20,000 points, and it's going to double your chances to win the $1,000. Check out all the details at 92.9nin.com, where you are right now. Thanks for watching, and know that when you do give blood, you do help save a life.